Hi, I understand that many of you actually requested for more teaching videos, so I've picked up one topic to show you as none other than organics. And I know that many of us struggle to understand this topic, so right now you're able to see the introduction to organic. Now, if you want to learn more about this topic, you can subscribe to our channel and you can see a list of all the videos that we have prepared. So, right now, sit back and watch the video, but of course, remember subscribe to our channel and if you love our videos, Click on the lights and if you want to leave a comment, feel free to leave us a comment. Hi, today we're going to go through this topic called organics. Well, many of us will know that organics occupy a huge part of your entire chemistry syllabus. Well, it's not only that. If you go up to A-levels or next time some of you are watching, you'll become medical doctors, you will realize that organic occupy a huge part of all the things that you're about to study. So what exactly are organics? Well, it's the chemistry for the study of life. Now, the whole studio today smells beautifully because I actually brought in some bread. Well, oh, yummy, yummy, good bread. Well, how do you make bread? You need sugar, flour and Lots of other ingredients to make this beautiful, aroma-smelling bread. Now, why do we eat bread? Well, bread gave us carbohydrates. And not only that, if bread you accompany with good cheese, uh-huh, ah, well, that would be amazing, plus wine, of course. But, um, okay, but uh, because it's a school, I can't bring in wine, but... Uh, so, in, the, in, in cheese, why do we eat cheese then? Well, inside contain this thing called proteins. Now, when I say organics, I'm giving you the study for the chemistry of life. And when you look at bread, we have carbs, we have proteins. Now, all these are examples of organic compounds. Well, what is the common associate among these two compounds? Well, it's none other than this word called hydrocarbon. Let me ask you a question. Now, when you look at this word hydrocarbon, it gives you the feeling of which two elements? Smart people, tell me. Now, the moment you look at this word, it consists of hydrogen and carbon. So, there are two main ingredients for hydrocarbon. None other than hydrogen and carbon. Now, if I say talk so much about organic and I say it's the chemistry of life, uh, beside the food that we eat, where on earth can I find organic compound? Well, as you can see over here, our body is made out of organic compound as well. Carbon and hydrogen. So today, if you actually got a burnt, of course you will get a scar, not only that, there will be a layer of bubble inside, consists of water, and you see white fumes coming out, carbon dioxide. Why? Because you and I are made of carbon and hydrogen. Now, beside all these living things and things that we, we touch and we eat every day, the beautiful thing about the study of, chemist, uh, of organic is, scientists actually came out by knowing the structure and we actually invented plastic. Now, the plastic bottles that we put our mineral water inside contain hydrocarbon as well. But where do we get the inspiration of making this beautiful plastic structure? Well, the, it, we are inspired through carbohydrates and protein structure. And that is the study of organics. Okay, now, first of all, coming up, I will right here. Butane. Now, some of you will be thinking, what on earth is butane, Miss Selena? Well, um, butane is actually one of the main fuel that you can find in the Bunsen burner that you use in the lab. So, the fuel inside contains butane. Uh huh. Now, and now some of us, um, like just how I say, Cheese with wine would be fabulous, and especially red wine. Oh, but I love white wine though. Okay, anyway, now what is the main ingredient of wine? Well, besides that wine comes from grapes, one of the main ingredients is ethanol. And ethanol is also under 
hydrocarbon because inside contain hydrogen and carbon. Ah, it's all about food now, right? Okay, now one more example. Every day, some of us will have tasted that um, in our, in, you know, when we order bak chor mee. Ah. Okay, some of you will know what I'm talking about. Well, it's actually this thing called vinegar. Now, the chemical name for vinegar is ethanoic acid. So boys, you want to uh, impress your girlfriends and next time when she's cooking and say, wow, um, uh, maybe you want to add some ethanoic acid inside your salad. It's actually vinegar. Yeah, make you sound really smart. Okay, so these are all the examples of hydrocarbon.